Do you want to crack the online coding round of companies like Google, Microsoft, Atlas, and Amazon, etc.? Then you're at the right place. And within the next 10 minutes, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know in order to crack the online coding round of any company that there is. So the first thing that I want you to know is that the online coding round is very different from a coding interview because in the coding round, what matters is your answer. It doesn't matter how you got there. It doesn't matter what your thought process was. If the test cases are passing, you will get selected. In a coding interview, the thought process is more important. And even if you don't get to an exact answer, if your thought process is correct, you will be selected. So you need to have a different approach for an online coding round. You cannot have the same approach both the places. And this is the reason why you see so many candidates who have done thousands and thousands of lead code problems who seem to be very good at DSA, but they still end up getting rejected in the online coding round. Because these top tier companies, these high paying companies have an online coding round which is pretty difficult and they use this to screen 90% of the candidates out. So what is the approach you need to have for coding round? Let's discuss this and I'm going to discuss this step by step with everything that you need to do. So first we're going to talk about the preparation and then we're going to talk about the execution. Now in preparation, let's discuss the step number one, which is master the implementation. Now, whatever language you choose, it is up to you. Choose C++, choose Java, choose Python, choose whatever language you want. My suggestion to you will always and always and always be either choose C++ or choose Java. Don't choose any other languages apart from this. Now, whatever language you choose, you need to be very good at implementation of it. Because during the coding round, your computer is logged. You cannot search for syntax. You cannot search for library. Suppose you want to convert a string from upper to lower. You cannot search that. You need to have that in your mind. How are you going to do that? You need to know how to use the library correctly. If you want a sorting algorithm, which is there in the library, you need to remember how to use it. So you have these functions in STL for C++ and collections for Java. Make sure that you have used them at least once so that it stays in the back of your mind and you don't forget about it because you don't have the option of searching and googling while in the middle of the coding round. Next thing about the implementation is knowing how to code. A lot of times people come to me and they say Ki, Ashish we are able to think of the solution. When I see the question I am able to think of the solution but I am not able to code it out. It takes me 5 minutes to think of the solution and it takes me half an hour to code the solution. A lot of you guys might also be facing this problem. And this is a problem that you cannot face to afford in an online coding round because time is of the essence there. So what you need to do, you need to practice implementation based problems. So for that, I suggest two types of problems. First, I want you to do the standard DSA problems on lead code. Standard as in create a link list, you know, do the basic operations of link list, create a stack, do the basic operation of a stack, create a queue, do the basic operations of a queue and do these things from scratch. Once you do these things, it will strengthen up your implementation skills because you will be using the libraries, you will be using a lot of codes, you will be using a lot of functions. The second thing is I'm going to suggest you is do at coder ABC contest. So at coder ABC contest just focuses on implementation based problems. So the problems are not that difficult. The only focus is on the implementation. So make sure you're able to do that quickly. And the next thing of course is set a timer. So set a timer till you think of the solution and set a timer till you code the solution and make sure that you're able to reduce that time and people don't focus on this people focus on getting the solution but what about after that you also need to code the solution quickly your code should be correct your code should be clean your code should be efficient so make sure that you focus on the coding part not just the getting to the solution part now the second step of preparation is simulate the coding contest so like i said the coding contest will have a limited number of questions five or six you'll have a limited number of time two hours three hours so you have to simulate that because just normal problem solving will never be able to make you accustomed to the level of you know nervousness or the level of what do you call it the dread that you get while in the coding round. When you're at your home lying down on your bed doing lead code problem thinking about it that will not be the same thing in the coding round. So you need to simulate the coding round. So what you can do you can give lead code contest and you can give code forces contest. I'll also suggest code shift, but code shift ka level I feel has gone down a bit from before. So I'll say stick to code forces and lead code. Lead code has coding contest early morning, weekly and bi-weekly. Make sure that you attend every lead code contest. Okay. And try to improve your rank time by time. Likewise, code forces has div 2, div 1, div 3, div 4 contest. Go for div 2 contest because they are like the appropriate difficulty 
of these product based companies so give div2 contest and give lead code weekly and biweekly contest and make sure that you are able to absolve the problems whatever you were not able to solve in the contest absolve it later on and make a note of it once you keep doing this you will get better just for normal problem solving you should do that is there that everyone knows ki dsa karna hai lead code karna hai but start giving contest asap and start up solving just by doing this you will eventually become a master of problem solving now the last step of your preparation phase and this is the most crucial and before i tell you the step i want to tell you a quote which i read in the book called art of war which i've also quoted in my other videos it's a magnificent book written by sun tzu thousand of years ago so he said this in his book know thyself know thy enemy a thousand battles a thousand victories what does it mean know thyself know your strengths know your weaknesses what topic are you good at what topic are you weak at know your enemy what is the enemy right now even though i don't want you to think of the company as an enemy you can think of it as a battle that you have to conquer know thy enemy it means that know the type of questions that the companies are going to ask you every company has a different pattern that they stick to if you take a look at google online assessment rounds of the past you'll see that they focus on questions on topics like dynamic programming try trees these kind of things if you take a look at amazon so a you'll notice that they have questions like graph questions dp question etc so every company has a way of asking the question or has a particular topic so i want you to focus on the previous year questions that these companies had in their oa so one place i'll suggest for that is algozenit in algozenit they have free sets of the previous year oa rounds company sorted by company so if you're going for adobe they have adobe's previous year questions stored if you go for amazon they have amazon's previous year's questions stored so they have set of online assessment that these companies have asked previously another resource is also gfg gfg geeks for geeks also has archives or the like companies that the questions that they have asked so focus on these kind of questions this is the know thy enemy part know thyself part once you're doing the question what is the topic that you're not able to perform best at for me it was dynamic programming i used to suck at dynamic programming i was very bad at it so what i did i focused on solving more problems on it i had a sheet for like dynamic programming which had like 50 problems picked out that i had issues in and i practiced a lot in it and after that i was able to become good in dynamic programming so focus on the topic you're weak at and that is the one thing that's going to mess you up most probably so whatever you're weak at prepare extra and keep a sheet to keep track of everything so whatever topic you're weak at practice extra on it keep a sheet and keep track of everything and make sure that there's no such topic that you have left out now we have come to the execution part your preparation part is done you have solved a lot of problems you have given a lot of contests you are a master of implementation now comes the execution part execution is in the coding round so now you're in the coding round what do you do let me give you some amazing tips for that first tip is time management a lot of times what happens the easier question you might not be able to do so the first question that is there you might get stuck on that there might be something that you are not understanding and a lot of times it's a easy question but you spend too much time on it you keep on thinking how does it work how does it work and before you know it you've spent half an hour on the question, same question you spent one hour on the same question and that is not something you can afford so don't give any question more than 10 minutes in the coding round if you cannot think of anything for more than 15 minutes around 10 to 15 minutes maximum 20 minutes if you're not able to think of anything move on to the next question okay whether it's easy problem or hard problem that doesn't matter you cannot afford to get stuck on a single problem for too long make sure that you're aware of the time keep looking at the timer they'll most probably have a timer make sure that you're aware of how the time is passing by you should not get surprised by getting stuck on one question second thing you need to do is focus on the constraints this has happened to me a lot of times in my college days i would go for a interview i would go for a online coding round i would see the problem and i'll be like wow that's such a easy problem get on solving it write the entire code spend a lot of time in it and when i click submit tla why because i did not focus on the constraints and my solution was not optimized so here you don't have ki you know you need to do the brute force and then optimize here you need to directly jump to the most optimized solution so make sure that you're good with the constraints and you read the constraints carefully and only code the most optimized solution that will work now the last thing that i have for you which is you know being in the coding round being in the execution phase is hail mary approach so remember those problems we skipped because we are not able to think of anything 
now there's only 10 minutes left and again we cannot think of an approach what you're going to do are you going to waste the remaining time in thinking of a solution again no write a brute force solution and try to pass as many test cases as you can a lot of times you have partial marking you have partial test cases so don't waste your time thinking of the most perfect solution write a brute force solution and try to pass as many test cases as you can this is the hail mary approach don't leave any question b don't skip any question at the last if you have even five minutes left just write a simple brute force approach and try to pass as many test cases as you can so that's pretty much it i've explained to you step by step how you can crack the coding round of any company a bonus tip that i have for you is practice very hard on code forces code forces is one platform i'll wholeheartedly suggest because a lot of times the coding rounds the problems that these coding rounds have will be very similar to the code forces questions especially the div 2 c div 2 d level problems div 2 b c d problems it will be very similar to that so make sure that you don't be only on lead code and practice on code forces as well so that's pretty much it and do subscribe as i'll be making a lot more videos about coding interviews technical interviews and the preparation that you need to do for that and that's all make sure to subscribe thank you